遠距離恋愛になってからたった5回しか会ってないんですけどちょっとキモいぞ<笑> You have to prepare your exit And what I mean by that is I'm happy right now We are on a short distance relationship イエーイ知ったじゃないよ Hey guys Welcome back to our channel If you are new here My name is Lily ヨこのチャンネルではこんな感じの遠距離恋愛のチップスだったりとかニューヨークでの生活に関していろいろ上げていこうっていうふうに思っているのでよかったらチャンネル登録をしてもらえると嬉しいですはい今日の話題は遠距離恋愛のチップスですイエーイ<笑>私たちの出会いの経緯に関してとかはもうすでに動画に上げているのでよかったら見てみてくださいこれねで3年弱アメリカと日本で遠距離恋愛をして結局結婚に至ることができましたなのでまあ成功と言っていいんじゃないかなかなと思っていますなのでよかったら参考にしてみてくださいただ前提として覚えていただきたいのがこれは私たち個人の私たちに合ったやり方だったのでどういう関係が一番うまくいくかっていうのはそれぞれ違ってくると思うので参考までに見てください今遠距離恋愛してる方とか遠距離恋愛になりそうな方とかで私たちこういう経験したよみたいなのがねあればコメント欄でシェアしてもらえると嬉しいなと思います私から先にシェアしようと思います。私は3つあります。まず1つ目が、近めのゴールを立てることです。例えば、次いつ会えるみたいなゴールを立てることで、私たちの場合は3ヶ月か4ヶ月に1回会うようにしてたんですけど、それを結構事前に決める。そうすることによって、あの日のために頑張るぞみたいな感じで、計画を立てて、会った時にどういうことしたいねとかいう話で盛り上がったりとかして、なんかネガティブな方にならないように、目標を定めるっていうのが私の中ですごく大事だなって思ったので、これを一つとしてあげました。大事だよね。Yeah, we ended up traveling to different locations every time we met. So those specific planning, we also had a lot of fun discussing those details together over the call. So that contributed to building healthy and joyous relationship together. うん、そうだね。確かに。<笑>うん、本当にね、半年前ぐらいから飛行空券とかも取って計画立ててたよね。うん、それぐらいから立てて行った時にはどこのホテルに行きたくてどこ看護したくて2人でこういうことしたいねみたいなのをねいっぱい話してその近めのね目標があることで関係良くなったなっていうふうに思うのでぜひ真似してみてください2つ目が自分のやりたいことに没頭するですこれがね結構そのカップル関係なくねって思うかもしれないんですけど私の中ではすごく重要でとにかく自分がやりたいことにたくさん時間を使って忙しくしてることで遠距離の寂しさみたいなのって結構紛れたというか例えばヨンちゃんは筋トレが趣味じゃんだから会えない時とか寂しい時自分のねスキルアップとか高めることに時間を使ってたわけなんですよね、まあ、私の場合は英語勉強ししたりとか、まあ、バイトして次の旅行のためにバイトしたりとか自分がやりたいことに結構没頭してました寂しいなって思った時間とかにはもう疲れ果てて寝てるみたいな<笑>感じだったからなんか遠距離恋愛はそんなに辛いって思わなかったかもしれない毎週毎週さデートに行って時間を使ってたとしたらできないようなことが遠距離恋愛だったら時間の使いようによってはすごく有効に活用できるので私の中ではそこをすごく意識してて何か自分のやりたいことに没頭するのはすごくいいのかなっていうふうに思います。So it's a switch of perspective. Instead of thinking that long distance relationship is a disadvantage, think of it as you don't have to waste your time dating the other person on a, on a weekly or daily basis. So use that time, be thankful for the free time that you're gaming. And use that in order to improve yourself. <笑>でも絶対その相手が自分のことを好きでいてくれてるとか信じれないとそれはできないっていうふうに思うので、まあ、ここの信頼関係ありきでのことな気はするけどね。Yeah. そうだね。あと「waste」って言い方はやめた方がいいと思う。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>最後が会えた時間をとことん楽しむっていうところですかね遠距離のカップルと遠距離じゃないカップルの一回一回の
重みというか、まあ、遠距離じゃない人でも、もう一回のデートに全力を毎回注いでる人もいるかもしれないけど、やっぱ遠距離恋愛だと、3、4ヶ月に一回しか会えないわけですよ。会えた時に、本当に全力で楽しむっていうのを、なんか意識して、ってたかもしれないでまあ会えなくなってすごく寂しくなった時のためにたくさん写真を撮ったりとか手元に残る思い出とかを結構作ったりとかはしてたかなって思いますで私たち遠距離恋愛になってからたった5回しか会ってないんですけどその中でのね一個一個の旅ですごくたくさん思い出を作ったから離れている時にあこういうことあったねっていうのをねそういう話をしたりもするしその旅行の一番最後の日が帰るギリギリのタイミングで絶対にレターセットみたいなのを買ってお互いにね手紙を書くっていうのをやっててエレイ行った時よかったよねなんかさすごい素敵なお庭でさなんかすごいいい天気の中2人でさちょっと時間取って一生懸命手紙書くみたいな時間を作ったりしてなんか私たちなりにね遠距離で離れちゃったとしてもとにかくその時を全力で楽しんで思い出作ろうってやってたかなじゃないいや、yeah, それが私の3つのチップスです。Was it okay? So you wanna go? Yes, then I will be sharing my three tips on how to maintain a healthy and lasting long distance relationship. My first tip is the couple needs to practice building trust. The most important aspect in any relationship, whether it's short distance, long distance, is the trust. The confidence that the other person is not going to cheat on. So given that, we had to come up with a reasonable way to ensure that the other person is not cheating and also the ways to give the other person enough confidence that they are not being cheated on. How we did it is we were getting on the call every single day, twice a day. I was living in the US, she was living in Japan, so the time was opposite when I was coming from work or working out from the gym, she was on her way to work. She would video call me to make sure that I'm not somewhere weird. Yeah, and, you're always in the gym. Yeah, I was always in the gym before <laughs> the pandemic started. Yeah. <laughs> and the vice versa, when she was heading home or she was working from the office late, I would、uh, wake up in the morning and on my way to the office, I'm gonna give her a video call and I make sure that she's in the office and not somewhere else. And on the weekends, we would spend like hours, hours talking to each other on our iPads and just making sure that we have enough conversations going. We know what the other person is up to nowadays and sharing those emotional bonds together despite our physical distance. But obviously, this wouldn't give you a complete sense of security that you're not being cheated on. I could be going somewhere else after hanging up the call, or she could have done that. But at least we were making enough contribution or giving enough courtesy to show the willingness. That you are a faithful person. So, agreeing on reasonable rules between couples, I think, is essential. Sure, it's the best if you can trust the other person without any of this, but if you don't have these measures in place, you will start doubting the other person one way or another. So, I think it's very important. Any comments you have? The fact that you are willing to share those, it means you're respecting the other. That's also an important thing. I didn't feel so uncomfortable, and to me, it was reasonable. The point was not. Not to enforce the other person, but by showing that you're willing to open up a little bit of your privacy, that sacrifice or that willingness gives the other person comfort that you are committed to this relationship. So, in距離だし、ぶっちゃけ何でも隠れてできるっていうのはさ、事実としてあるから、そこに関して相手が不快にならない程度に自分のね、今何してるとかさ、ちょっとプライバシーでも大好きな人にだったら別に言っていいかなって思うかな。So, our agreement was that if we call the other person on a video call at any time during the day, that the other person is expected to answer that call. そうだね。Attractive person, you are expected to receive a lot of attractions or seductions from other people in that country or in that region. So, you need to give them enough reasons to remain in this relationship. Sure, this doesn't sound romantic at all, but 
That's how human minds operate. You are going to start comparing significant other to uh, some of the other guys that might be attracting, right? So I'm not going to give how you can satisfy the other person because that varies person by person. A few examples that I can give is maybe send her a few gifts or every time we meet, take her out to a nice restaurant or some, some nice events. Given that we, I'm not going out on a date every week, I can sufficiently save up enough money in order to conduct one or two of those special events. So those are important and also I knew that she was very into traveling so talking about those future plans to visit Hong Kong, Macau, LA, San Francisco, those places it was not only good for planning for our next trip but also for building this communication channel discussing about this common interest which keeps her expecting for better things in the future so <laughs> This may be her first time hearing me talk about these things explicitly. There are plannings that are required <laughs> to keep the other person in the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> what I mean is that even when we're not together, nowadays you can pretty much order anything online. So if you offer to buy her something on Amazon, and also you can figure out where she lives, the specific address. So that's also another good thing if you want to figure out where she's living. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it be, it can be something as small as writing a letter or sending some meaningful gifts to her over postal mail. But the point is that the other person has to be happy to stay in that relationship with you. Let's be a little practical and don't expect the other person to be so naive to just remain happy like a child without being offered anything. You can make it up if you are going on a date on a regular basis. Since you cannot do that, you have to find other ways to compensate for that. That's my second tip. Try to keep the other person happy. Mm -hmm. So my last and final tip is that you have to prepare your exit plan. And what I mean by that is any relationship is going to, in my opinion, end up in one of two situations. One is entering a successful marriage. Two is moving on with your life after breaking up. Obviously, not every couple is going to have a happy ending together. Keeping that in mind, constantly question yourself whether that the person you're dating right now is the right person for you. In determining this, there's a lot of factors to consider. And it can be personality match, it can be the financial situations, it can be about where you guys would end up living if you did end up getting married. And if so, how do you take care of your visa statuses? Things of that nature. So so give those considerations and if you truly believe that the other person is for you and if you feel like you are ready to move on to the next steps in life, please do so. But what I'm trying to say is that don't be too heartbroken if your long distance relationship doesn't work out because not every relationships are going to be successful and sometimes it's better off to just simply break up because you guys are just not great matches. <laughs> so if you guys do end up marrying each other after giving a serious considerations to all these factors that I listed plus others, then congratulations to you. But if not, you have to keep that in mind that it may not work out. So keep that in mind while you're dating. Don't give your all. <laughs> 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 we fortunately or unfortunately that's to be decided in the future but for the time being we got married and as soon as we got married it's not pinky rosy future happy ever after there are a lot of realistic problems that we have to solve together there are just too many things to consider even like cultural differences between families right we have different opinions on how our families, including her parents, my parents, have to operate. So those disagreements, there might be hidden problems that wouldn't reveal themselves until you enter the marriage and you have to face them in the future if you do end up getting married. So just keep that in mind and just keep realistic expectations for your future as a couple. That's my tips. Uh, hope, hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Yeah, we are so opposite, right? You're so practical. I'm more like emotional. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> we think it's important to give both aspects mm -hmm. and both perspectives. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you are going to rush yourself into a marriage that you might find miserable in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I hope this isn't. I'm happy right now. Oh no. 今日の遠距離恋愛のチップスいかがだったでしょうか。少しでもね皆さんの心に響いてたらなと思いながらこの動画を終わります。この動画が少しでもいいなっていうふうに思ったらチャンネル登録、高評価、コメント残してもらえると嬉しいですありがとうございましたまた次の動画でお会いしましょう See ya! We are on a short distance relationship イエーイシスターじゃないよハッピーでーすハッピーでーす私のデスクが大好きでいつも寝てる。